Hey, Matt, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. Want to make this quick video say thanks so much for considering us for your needs and giving me the opportunity to earn your business. I wanted to demonstrate in this Winnebago Mini Plus 29 DDBH how the bed works. Uh, so here we have the trifold bed. Um, it doesn't quite touch the island, so you still have some walk around room. Um, I'm pretty much about six feet tall, more or less. So um, here my feet are at the end. Um, it's a pretty, pretty good sized bed. You know, like I was saying, you can sleep two adults on here comfortably. Um, but that's it. Here it is. Has a U-shaped dinette that also turns into a bed. Uh, I would say the couch is going to be a little bit more comfortable. Uh, but you can still sleep an additional two here. Uh, it's pretty easy to convert the table, uh, to the, uh, bed mode. You also have storage underneath. Um, I really, really like this unit. This is one of my favorite bunk houses. I'm very partial to Winnebago. I'm glad that we started carrying them. Uh, they're really the top of the line for quality. Uh, all the cabinetry is just so beautiful and it's just got a really clean, modern feel to it. And you have a ton of storage here. Uh, what's really nice on these is that it does have an in-command system. Uh, when you guys come in, I'll be happy to have it plugged in and we can actually, uh, you know, demonstrate how it works. Uh, but basically you can link your phone uh, via an app and control some aspects of your RV. Uh, but this is your main uh, control here for everything. You also have plenty of storage here, use box down there. Of course, this is two slides. So you have one here on the kitchen and one um, here in the living area. Nice thing about the Winnebago's, uh, this is solid surface countertop. A lot of brands have gone away from this to be more competitive on price, uh, but with Winnebago, uh, they stuck with it on the mini pluses. Um, this one has an eight cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. Some RVs have all electric, but these are really a tried and true design. The all electric are still kind of new. Uh, here we have some lighter wood over here. It's a good balance of light and dark on these. Um, has a glass insert to give you extra space while you prep. Um, you have a three burner cooktop here, oven, and you also have storage underneath here. Has a residential power microwave, it'll very quickly and evenly heat food. You have USB ports, regular power outlets, it does include a TV. You also have overhead storage here. Of course, the two double bunks with teddy bear mattresses. Um, these are very soft and comfortable. Uh, you also have a 250 pound weight capacity. It does include a ladder. It's kind of funny how some campers don't have ladders, <laughs> but this one does have one, so that's nice. Here we have the bathroom. It does have a porcelain toilet. Um, it does have a glass shower. Looks like this little piece uh, needs to be reattached, but that just pops right back on there. But it does have a very large shower. I can show you here, standing up. The nice thing about the uh, Winnebago's is that it has radius ceiling, so it is taller, it's not a flat ceiling. Really, the Mini Pluses are like a fifth wheel in a bumper pull format. Uh, higher ceilings, you do have a medicine cabinet here. Uh, really great thing about the Winnebago's, you know, of course, nowadays sanitation is more important than ever. Uh, it does have a stainless steel sink versus plastic. Uh, so if you shave in here, brush your teeth, uh, it's much better versus um, the old plastic ones like most RVs have, which drives me crazy anywhere in an RV the kitchen, uh, but more especially the sink in the bathroom. Storage there, LED cabinets. And here you can see a little bit better uh, the curved ceiling versus being flat. Of course it is uh, ducted AC, 50 amp service. Uh, with this one you have the main unit here secondary unit here now according to the msrp sheet this is actually a 15,000 btu so you have 30,000 btus total when you're running both units um very rarely do you have 15,000 btus being secondary so to keep it plenty cool especially because the winnebago's have such uh great insulation you have a full-size queen bed as well uh 60 by 80 so if you want to swap the mattress any mattress fit bedding will fit perfect and you also have storage underneath here. It does have struts that hold it up so it makes it easier uh, to get to your belongings. They're really smart with their storage on this unit. On this side, you also have a closet. If you can see there, I know it's a little bit dark in here right now. Try to open this up. Huge closet there. Shelves on this side. Drawers underneath here. 
This one probably has the most storage I've ever seen in a buffer pole. Overhead storage. It does have two reading lights. They're adjustable. You can turn them wherever you want. Storage there. And you also have uh, preparation for a TV if you want to mount one. You have all the connections there. Just want to give you an overall view. I know I've had some customers say that they want a, more of an overall feel of what the RV offers. So I'll just take a moment to pan around here for you. Really great use of space. The two slides just really opens it up. There you go. I'm going to show you the outside. Winnebago's, they're so smart. They just really have such an attention to detail that others don't. A lot of campers have screen doors, right? But you see this one closes itself because they include a screen shot. I don't know why every brand doesn't do this. I mean, I know they have to be cost effective, but it really can't cost them much to do it. But this is the only camper I've seen that ever includes it. So during those uh, summer nights when you're out camping with your family, uh, you know, if the kids forget to close the door, it'll close itself. And you also have this so you can still open and close the door as well. Another thing, they have a window in the door, right? A lot of campers do that. But with one bego, you get the thin shade, which is included for more privacy and energy efficiency, which is really nice. It does have extra large door handle as well. They are serious about their door handles. That's huge. So it makes it very easy for people all ages to get in and out. Uh, it has really nice aluminum steps. All you have to do to close them is do that. And you're good to go. Again, this is the Winnebago 29 DDBH. Uh, the underbelly is heated and enclosed. So when your furnace is on, it will push air, uh, forced air to keep your tanks warm. It does have the extreme weather package. So what that is, is spoil in the roof and in the floor. It reflects heat during the summer, traps it during the winter. You also have huge storage compartments here. Has magnets, not clips. So this is honestly, you know, the space you get very close to what you get in a lot of fifth wheels. Uh, so just a huge storage compartment, all aluminum frame, of course. Here we have the two 30 pound propane tanks just like a fifth wheel so you don't have to refill as often. Uh, battery is ready to go there. It does have the auto level system here. So all you have to do is turn it on. You press like three buttons, it does all the work for you. Of course it is a two and five sixteenths ball. Uh, you will wanna make sure on your Tundra that you do have a seven way uh, connection for the, your lights and brakes and also a brake controller, two safety chains and a breakaway. Just in case the worst case scenario, your RV brakes will lock so it doesn't pass you when you're going down the road. Uh, does have LED lights in the cap. What's really smart too is that uh, you do have a little mirror here as well to help you uh, while you're backing up. It is ready for solar. If you want to check a charge your battery and keep your lights on, this uses the ZAMP system plug there. And here we have the other storage. It's really great about these, just like on some fifth wheels we have, all your connections come up from underneath here up. So you only have one uh, water connection. So that's your city water. Uh, right now it's on city. So all you have to do if you want to fill your fresh tank, go off the grid, you just flip that switch and it fills your tank. You don't have to unscrew it and put it in another place. So that's really smart. You also have a spray port with cold water here. Uh, battery disconnect. So if you want to store your RV, you can turn it off and it won't deplete your battery. Uh, Inlets for cable and satellite are here. Power connections. Um, here you have the hose for the spray port. 50 amp power cord. Here we have the other slide. What's really great about the Winnebago is their windows are tinted. Um, I know that costs a little bit more, you know, to have, uh, but for privacy and energy efficiency, these are tinted. Um, also on the outside, um, the great thing about this one is that it does have the highest gloss available. Uh, the Noble Classic Finish, high gloss. Uh, so this paint will last a really long time, will protect your graphics. A lot of campers don't do this. Same paint they use on motorhomes. Uh, looks like you also have another fill tank for fresh, 
here and also a black tank flush. Uh, that way you don't have to drag in the hose uh, inside your RV to clean out your tank. It keeps your hands clean as well. Um, here we have the two dumps for the gray and the black here. 50 amp power. Also a spare tire, very easy to get to. And as we were discussing, you know, when you back up into a uh, storage facility, this uses the Voyager system. So you have audio and visual. Here we have the water heater. It is uh, propane and electric. Also the great thing about the Mini Pluses is you have a 10 gallon water heater versus a six. So you have an additional four gallons than most RVs. And you also have a ladder here. So if you want to inspect your roof as you should periodically, you don't have to grab a separate one. It's very easy to get to. You also have the outside kitchen here. Two burner cooktop with propane. Here you have propane connection. Now the nice thing is where that yellow, where this is, this is the RVQ propane connection so if you want to use your own grill like a blackstone or something uh, you can just plug in there and use your propane let's have a sink a lot of campers aren't doing that anymore hot and cold water power connections uh, LED light here we have a refrigerator this one's a 1.6 cubic foot more storage the better of course and this is the exhaust for the propane furnace so if you have your uh, furnace on if it's a cold day, uh, you know, outside you can stay in here and gather some warmth. You also have outlet for cable. If you want to hook up the TV, power connections, backers ready to go here. Outside speakers, of course. Uh, vent for the range hood. It does actually work in the kitchen inside. It will vent outside. Access for the fridge here. If you ever need maintenance, there you have the two panels. Large electric awning. And that's about it. Um, I think you said that you had watched another video of mine, but I wanted to make this one for you specifically. Um, as I said, uh, let me know when you can make it out and I will be here. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, my number is 979-413-9554. Uh, I'd love to earn your business and I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Thank you so much.